Good evening. We have new information tonight on the loaded gun that prompted extra security this morning at every Sioux Falls school. 25 year old Joseph Kroll, who is a custodian at Career and Technical Education Academy, is charged with possession of a firearm in a school and filing a false report. While it created a lot of anxiety among students, parents, and staff, the district says it was an isolated incident and wants to reassure everyone that the schools are safe. The report came in Friday night from the CTE Academy that a loaded handgun was found in the ceiling of the men's bathroom along with four bullets underneath a garbage can. Police say that immediately became a major concern. If there was a gun in the school, are there more? Uh, is there uh, is there a student out there with, with issues? Uh, so we knew we were in for a long weekend trying to discover those facts. Ironically, it was Crow who made that report. The following morning, we did a full call out where we had detectives, uh, school resource officers, and employees from the Sioux Falls School District involved as far as trying to figure out who this uh, gun belonged to. According to court papers, they interviewed 25 to 30 students and faculty who used that bathroom. That took some time since school was only in its second day, and many of the teachers didn't know the students by name. So we had to bring in uh, assistant principals from each of the high schools to help us identify students so that the police force had uh, knew who, who to talk to. Court documents say officers also did DNA swabs on each student. But later, when they interviewed Kroll, who took a lie detector test, he allegedly admitted that he was the one who put the gun in the ceiling. He went on to say he found the gun in a Chevy Blazer, which had been pulled into the auto shop at CTE. He says he panicked because he'd already touched the gun, so that's why he put it in the ceiling. But we think it was just some bad decisions on this employee's part, and, and we don't uh, believe there was any threat at any time to uh, student safety. Crow will make his first court appearance tomorrow. We did a background check on him and discovered that he has been in trouble with the law before for simple assault in 2011. Then in 2013, he pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct in connection with a fight at Lincoln High School. The school district released a statement about the arrest. You can read it under this story at kelloland.com.